behind Golden Door. Nada. It's a, it's a game. Breaking barrels and crates is like a huge part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are check. I'm guessing those are checkpoints. I don't know what this is. Okay, super vampire leaps. Vampire with telekinesis. Stupid locks like that aren't gonna work. Yes, I understand. It will be done. Mobius. The stage is set. It's a different voice actor. You needn't linger in the shadows, Kane. It has been a long time. I think. Hasn't it? No banter, Mobius. You know why I'm here. Yes, Raziel. You sought to introduce your own pawn into this game. And now he's been swept from the board. By your hand, I suspect. Where is he? Perhaps you should ask. When? <laughs> How humiliating it must be for you to come begging at my doorstep for us. Enough wordplay. Don't threaten me. The sword. You see? I have the upper hand. How remarkable that the great Cain should succumb to the scepter's power like any common vampire. <clears throat> Still so arrogant after all these years, thinking you devised some brilliant plan. You know nothing. You have read the signs, but miss their meaning. You believe you are that myth of vampire prophecy, the scion of balance, and that Raziel holds the key to fulfilling your destiny. <coughs> but your messianic delusions have blinded you to Raziel's true nature. You have no idea what you've unleashed. There was a time when you might have heeded wise counsel when it was offered. Now, your vanity has made you witless. You will have to learn the truth for yourself. You'll be needing this. Your strength will return after I have departed. But by then, you will have more urgent concerns than pursuing me. Oh, that is the same actor. When we next meet, you will have learned a little humility. We also got a lot of lore there with the whole mention of the Scion of Balance. These strange creatures seem to manifest from the very shadows. Mobius's attempt at stopping me was not one of his better efforts. When I found him, it would be my turn to offer a few surprises. And now we're switching over to Razio. In the underworld. Surrender, Raziel. Abandon this petty rebellion. 
It was I who made you. Your life had played out, and in my grace, I spared you. You are my reaper of souls. You have no other purpose, no higher destiny. Just this. Accept your calling, Raziel. Let go of these vain hopes. Relinquish your will, and feed. No. What do you profit from this defiance? There's some grim satisfaction in infuriating you. My patience is eternal, Raziel. How many eons can you bear to languish here? The wheel of fate must turn. All are redeemed in the cleansing agony of birth, death, and rebirth. This is the engine of life, the purifying rhythm of the universe to which all souls are irresistibly drawn. Yours is a necessary and noble function, Raziel. Enough of your sermonizing. Are you trying to bore me into submission? Why must this game go on? We both know what you are. You are no better than the vampires you so despise. A voracious parasite, cloaking its appetite in a shroud of righteousness. I refuse to do your will. I can see into your heart, Raziel. It is not your will, but cowardice that keeps you here. How so? You know what fate awaits you when you leave the underworld. That phantom weapon you bear is a constant reminder, isn't it? The sword is waiting for you out there somewhere, and you tarry so as not to meet it. I could not deny it. As long as I lingered here, defying my captor, I was able to postpone what I feared was my inevitable doom to become the ravenous spirit imprisoned in the Reaver Blade. But that sentence was no worse than the stalemate I now endured. Better to face one's destiny than cower from it. Harvester of souls, I created you. And to this function, my angel of death, you will return. Enough. Yes, I submit. Very good. Indulge your hunger. Yes, embrace your calling, Raziel. You will find that just as defiance has its price, so obedience has its reward. And submission is not always what it seems. Alright, so... Yeah, also learned a lot of lore there, didn't we? Now we bet... Raziel knows his eventual fate, and we just learned, we just learned it. Namely, that Raziel, when it comes to the Soul Reaver that Kane has, the, the one who... the spirit inside the blade, is Raziel. I forgot how to get up there. Can I climb? Can I climb this? Is this way maybe? Okay, yes, yeah, this way. So Raziel's uh, at the end of Soul Reaver 2, or not? Uh, Soul, yeah, at the end of Soul Reaver 2, Raziel ends up trapped here in the underworld for defying the Elder God's commands. That's what Cain is doing. Because Cain also knows of a prophecy of two champions that will sit, that could end the war that we're dealing with and save Below himself. me swirled an ominous looking mist. I knew that if I fell, it would mean my peril. Don't fall. I can tell Kinesis is not a cool idea. Do you 
believe your worthiness is so easily proved. Your way is sealed until you have offered further evidence of your obedience. So I must feed you before I depart this place. You must feed yourself, Raziel. Raziel's also figured out. The wheel must turn. Ah, uh, now you understand. Raziel has also figured out exactly what the Elder God is. As he said, the, the Elder God is kind of a parasite. It's not actually technically a god. It's a being that sits in the Wheel of Fate and devours souls for its own sustenance. It doesn't actually care about them. Escape from me, then you can escape yourself. But anyway, like I was saying, the Elder God is not really a god, it's a parasite on the, in the soul of the world, effectively. Raziel figured this out, and that's why he's being so rebellious. section. There's a prophecy about the Scion of Balance, that there will be two champions, one to represent the vampires and one to represent their ancient enemy, who I guess I'll go ahead and tell you now, are called the Hilden. It's not a spoiler at this point, considering this is the last game of the series. The Hilden are the demons we've been, we fought in Soul Reaver 2 during the, the destructive the destroyed world timeline going little soul I didn't 
effect. The Seraphim Lord is a is a Hilden, the Hilden Lord. The prophecy specifically says that the Hilden and the vampires will each have a champion to fight and determine the fate of Nosgoth. Cain believes he is the vampire champion. Raziel also believes that he himself is one is the vampire champion. The ultimate twist is is fun, and I just died. Because 3D parkour with a bad camera, not super easy. Where do you think you are going? Skip cinematic, although it's not that long. Run faster! Embrace your destiny. <laughs> so that's what the prophecy that Mobius mentioned is all about. The Soul Reaver, of course, is a big part of the prophecy as well because it's in this world it's kind of the ultimate weapon. Never escape. I grow tired of this Raziel. So stop. Just let me go. Oh, cling. Good dodge. I'm out. Clearly my escape had not been anticipated, or my benevolent master would not have expended such efforts to prevent me from going. And if my departure displeased him, then that was a victory, however small, for me. Yep. 